Okay, now we have everything we need. We have the worm, we have the part where it's need the bullet needs to be spawned from, and we have the fireball. So all we need uh, to do is add some script to make it happen. Okay, so let's click our worm, and we have the move around script already attached to it, so let's use that. Um, let's double click it, and it will open up our editor. What we need to do is um, add a diff an, another variable, and this variable will define what we're shooting. So that will be our our bullet prefab. So type var bullet prefab, and then add a column and type transform. And what this does is it turns this variable into a transform variable, which uh, basically means it has an x, y, and z axis, so it can be used in the world. So when we save this script and go back to Unity, you will see that it uh, the bullet prefab is now added, but the um, um, it doesn't. This one is still empty. It doesn't say um, what exactly we we are shooting. So just grab the fireball and drag it right on top of it, and now the fireball is our bullet prefab. Okay. If you don't do that, we're gonna shoot nothing because it it's not set. Okay, let's go back into our script. Nothing changed here. We just um, we just changed the um, the value of our bullet prefab. Then go to the bottom of the update function, add some white space, and make sure you're within the function. If you're out outside of this thing right here, you're not inside the update function. You need to be in it. And just um, um, now we need to check if we are shooting. So we'll use the space bar to shoot. So just type if input dot get button down and then jump okay you need to type it exactly as I did with a capital I and where there's capitals there need to be capitals uh, if you don't it probably won't work or you get some errors this script is really easy it checks if uh, a button is down and that comes from our input class uh, which is predefined in the engine and the button that needs to be down is jump now the uh, engine already knows what this means and by default it's spacebar so we're just checking if spacebar checks is, is, is um, and that's basically all we're doing next what we need to do is we need to start creating our bullet in the world because as you as we have seen our bullet is not in the scene it's in here in our project so we need to take it from our project and add it into the hierarchy but then in script at runtime so we'll create a new variable and call it bullet and then um, and this bullet will be um, this is where we create the prefab so type instantiate and then the instantiate function basically um, creates the prefab in the world and it needs three variables the first one is what we're creating the the prefab and the second one is the um, um, the position where we want to create it, and the third one is um, the um, angles where it w that it will look towards. Okay, so the first one is what we need to create our prefab, and we already defined it here, our bullet prefab. So just copy that and then paste it there. Our second one needs to be uh, where exactly we want to have it in the world. Um, and that is our spawn point that we have created. So to find our spawn point, type game object dot find, and this will look through the list of all the objects in the current scene, and we'll type um, spawn point, and this will find our um, our spawn point from the worm, worm, and then hit dot transform dot position. So this will find the position of our spawn point. Um, and then the third is the angles it needs to look at. And we can just use the angles of the worm and where you already are in the worm because this script is attached to the worm. So all we need to do is type quaternion, which is Unity's names for angles. It's kind of it sounds kind of nerdy, but it's not that hard. Dot identity. And that will return the identity of um, our worm and the direction is looking at. So let's save this. Let's double check if we really named our object spawn point. So let's go to our worm, click spawn point, and yes, the name indeed is spawn point right here. So now when we run our game, we should be able to shoot stuff. 
Now, as you can see, <laughs> we are in fact shooting something, uh, but it's not moving yet. Uh, and if uh, it's just creating the balls, and if we hit them, we actually bump over them because of collision. So what we need to do is make sure that these balls actually move. So that's the next thing what we'll do. Go back to your script, open it up, and then um, let's clean this up a little bit. I'm um, just hitting enter here, a couple tabs. There. Um, after we're done with this, we need to change the bullet and add some um, add some force to it. Now, let's double check if our bullet has physics attached to it. So open our bullet prefab, our fireball. As you can see, there's no physics. So just go to component, physics, and then uh, add a rigid body. Now, our worm has a character controller, which is physics in a way, but it's not very realistic. We want our fireball to bounce around, so we add a rigid body to this one. Okay, so now that we have added a rigid body, let's go back to our script. And type bullet dot rigid body, which is the rigid body we just added, uh, dot add force. And then the force wants us to give us a number of how much and in what direction so we'll just hit transform dot forward which takes the forward direction of the worm and multiply it by a force of about um, 200 let's save this see what that does now when we shoot our fireball is moving very slowly so we should change that let's go back to our script and add 2000 save it run it again and now we're shooting something that's awesome as you can see the fireball is created right in front of the worm the worm is not hitting it because it's shooting straight if, if the worm is hitting the ball then it would bounce off the worm and go into a weird direction so if you're having that then that's what causes it um, and then um, now if we start adding some geometry to our level you can see things bounce around so let's create um, let's create a cube here move it and scale it now we run our game we have a little wall that we can shoot things and you'll see that they just bounce off So pretty fun. We have our uh, worm shooting. Um, if you want, you can uh, change the material again of the prefab. Just open the prefab and change the material to uh, look more like fire. Click the fire add one. Now, as we run a game, it actually looks like a fireball that we're shooting around. So pretty cool. Um, and get ready for next week when we add more stuff and more action to our worm.